Welcome to the Tennis Warehouse Racket Review of the Wilson Ultra Pro version 4 18 by 20. Originally released as Ultra Tour in 2017, this racket comes from the Wilson Pro Labs vault to offer players a classic feeling modern racket. The 18 by 20 string pattern pairs perfectly with the thin beam, 97 square inch head, and low flex rating, making this a racket that feels great at contact and allows players good access to a combo of control and speed. And for advanced players craving a bit more plow through, we think this is just the perfect platform to customize. We've been play testing a bunch of rackets and something that I've noticed with my tennis is I'm having more fun than I've had in a long time, which translates to really fun, positive play tests. And this racket is normally one that I would hit with a couple times and then put it down and say it's not in my wheelhouse, but I really loved hitting with this 18 by 20, more classic feeling frame. And I found it to offer me the perfect blend of what I like from a racket when I'm hitting big, powerful strokes. It has that built-in comfort and control and I'm really leaning into a bit of a slap shot method with some of my ground strokes as well as my serve and this racket held the ball perfectly for me to place it exactly how I wanted to and where I wanted to. I'm starting to construct points that are a tiny bit longer instead of my one-two combinations and I really felt dialed in with this racket. I definitely would add a little bit of weight, bring up that swing weight and just get a little bit more mass behind the ball, but had so much fun hitting big returns with this one, big first serves, as well as just big ground strokes from every spot on the court and one that I would love to play around with a little bit more once I get the weight dialed in. I was really looking forward to this play test of the Ultra Pro because it's a racket that really sits in my wheelhouse when it comes to specs and I really loved it from all areas of the court, especially from the baseline. I felt very dialed in with this one, getting a lot of control on my shots. I could get the ball dipping nicely inside the lines. I could really go after my shots um, when I was hitting my approach shots. I was just talking to Troy before this review and was saying how I could get the ball to dip in nicely even when I was being aggressive and uh, I don't hit it as much spin as I used to but with this racket I felt like I could control my depth really well and so it allowed me when I was stepping inside the court looking to put the ball away or to attack the net to take a good rip of the ball and keep it inside the lines and really stay aggressive even when the match situation got a little tight. Up at net a lot of control and feel on the volleys this racket it was silky smooth it's very light and fast feeling in the hand in stock form and I think there's plenty of room to tinker with the weight and balance of this one for stronger players or someone who's just looking for something with a little bit more beef behind their shots. And then again on serve, I found tip speed to be my friend, getting some nice slice on my serve, getting the ball um, over the net and inside the box with good pace on it too. So a fun play test. I think if you're a fan of players rackets and a lighter spec with an 18-20 string bed, this is one you've definitely got to hit. If there ever was a frame that I would consider switching to just based on its appearance alone without even ever playing with it, the new Wilson uh, Ultra Pro version 4 18 main is that racket. Um, fortunate enough for me, Wilson really backs this racket's aesthetics up with great performance, great feel. Um, I'm just basically going to mention what uh, Chris and everyone else has already uh, alluded to. It's just a great feeling racket. The 18 main for me uh, had a wide enough spacing to where I was still able to get a good launch angle and a good grip on the ball to control shot depth with a lot of spin, but it really dug in and complemented my backhand slice nicely. Uh, just everything about this racket, you know, the blade was my favorite frame uh, from Wilson, but this 20.6 millimeter beam is, uh, even though it's a little thinner than a blade beam, it I, to me, I was getting more energy return off it. So this is a very unique racket. I'm guessing uh, because it does have that pro stock feel, perhaps there's a little bit of foam injected in the hoop. It definitely gives it a very nice resonance, dampened feel while still letting uh, good feedback uh, flow through the racket. So overall, from uh, the backcourt, serve, volley, everywhere, it was just a great all-court play test for me. I particularly, I've been on a streak of serves, uh, being my favorite uh, shot to hit with a racket by a slight margin, maybe uh, from the backcourt, ground strokes down the line and cross-court forehands really complemented uh, that part of my game. Just a great racket overall. Picking up on uh, some of Mark's comments about the appearance of this racket, I know we try not to judge too much by the looks, but uh, it's really just a beautiful frame here. The uh, really nice thin beam and that glossy, sparkly, kind of blue to purple sort of shifting color there. It's just a great looking frame. Um, we tested the old version of this racket, the Ultra Tour with the 1820 a while back. I really enjoyed that frame. Um, and testing this next to the 1619 version, I would say in stock form, I think I like the 1820 a little bit more. 
uh, just for the simple fact of uh, I felt a little bit more connected to the ball. Uh, I felt like on slice and touch shots, you really, really um, are dialed in with this 18 main. And also on uh, first serves when I'm going flat, it's really, really maneuverable and I really can pick my spots with it really well. So really love that about this frame. It's got that really uh, maneuverable kind of headlight feel. Almost takes me back to like old prestigious, like the IG version. Um, and also on the market, like the Dunlop 200 Tour uh, 1820 kind of has that feel to it. Um, but overall, really like the frame. Great comfort, great precision, great, great control. I definitely would uh, add some weight to this racket as well as the 1619 and hit them side by side and decide kind of which one I like a little bit more than the other. We play tested this racket with several different string setups, but today you're gonna see us using Luxlon ALU Silver and then Luxlon ALU in the new Ocean Blue strung at 52 pounds. To learn more about this racket and many others, please visit us at Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.